Hi guys, this is Quoth and my second tech video for Diablo 2. I discovered something a while ago, but with all the Project Diablo 2 season starting, got caught up in it and didn't have time to try this thing out. What I found is an amazing compilation of quality of life features for vanilla Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. And finally I put it all together and would like to share it with you. We are going to do following. We will add HD mod, basically for widescreen resolution support. Of course you can choose it uh, or revert back to the original one. We will also add a BH 1.9.9 loot filter from Planky and other features that come with it. We will apply Plaggy stash size fix by Oscars. And finally we will also add a glide for brighter graphics. I will put all the timestamps below for easier navigation and in case you need to check some of those once again. If you liked the video and it reignited your desire to go back to Vanilla D2, consider subscribing and hitting the like button. I would appreciate that a lot. Now let's get into the setup process. Alright guys, so before we start, actually what you will need is the uh, Diablo 2 Plaggy 14.01 or I think also 11.02 version works well. So make sure that you have the installation ready and I also discussed this in my previous video so check it out if you don't have it yet. So just to show you, so I have here Plaggy, I'll launch it and yeah version 113c, Plaggy 14.01. Everything looks great and works. Okay, so now we are going to uh, look into the actual thing. So here it is, the uh, post that I found about half a year ago from the Slash Diablo guys, actually shout out to them, really fantastic. I never played Slash Diablo, but what they did here is really amazing. Later they released this HD mod and map hack, new release two years ago, and yeah, it was basically uh, developed by Mir, Drolga and Planky, so huge shout out to those two guys. They keep improving the uh, available tools for Diablo since long while, so really amazing work. In a nutshell, principle here, as they explain, is basically that they modified this d2win.dll uh, file that actually then loads the template.dll that they develop, that then in, uh, in the order takes care of everything else, loading the HD mod and also the map hack. So yes, you don't need to inject the map hack or loot filter anymore, which is really amazing because yeah, less steps to do and everything is taken care of upon just launching a game. That's amazing. All right, so for the setup, actually it is really, really easy. So what we need is to get this, basically all these files from the um, Google Drive. So let's actually download it all. Here the archive, so I wanted to quickly show you what it consists of. So here we have the bh config file, that is basically your item loot filter configuration file and contains all of it, the, uh, the DLL that makes it all work, then the uh, settings, uh, I will go a little bit more in details in this one later, then two options for the HD, HD1 and HD2. Um, so I used HD1, but they also claim that HD2 works the best and optimized performance, but I'm not sure. Then the multi-res MPQ that allows to have those additional uh, resolutions. The already mentioned Diablo 2 template DLL that actually loads everything. The modified D2 Win DLL. The Glide uh, library that also provides support there. And actually the other three files that I don't really know what they do, but well, probably they do some magic there. All right, so let's simply uh, get this folder. Oops. Get this folder, uh, go back to games. So here is my uh, plug installation. I'll just paste it right here. Then unzip it all, extract here. So I don't need this one anymore, I can delete it, then open this file, I'll take everything from here and just paste it inside. 
So there is only one file that needs to be replaced, so make sure that you do the copy of it before. And same with your save files, just to have a backup. All right, so we also don't need this anymore. Then uh, one important thing before we actually uh, launch the game and try it out. So with Plagi, you actually need to uh, get the multi-res one. Um, this one, the two multi-res mpq file, you need to put it into the folder with your Plagi mod. So in here. Now we're actually ready to uh, try and launch Plagi. So you don't really need to do anything else. Just make sure that you have the um, windowed shortcut enabled. And we're going to try it now. All right. You can already see that there is the BH199 uh, Plunky Resurgence Slash branch. So that's amazing. We're going to open the character here. So you see that resolution has changed, but I will go to the options, go to the video. It's important here that you wait a little bit when you switch, so about three seconds. Otherwise it can crash, but only you will need to do it only once. So yep, now you have super wide resolution. Yep. That happened to me as well, don't worry. We're going to open it again. And now, as you can see, we have the resolution of 1068 by 600. So, uh, what actually do we get uh, with this thing? Let's look into the stash. So, item filtering. You can already see that uh, there are a lot of things that appear now that normally don't. For example, it says T4 before heavy braces and then also shows the base defense, shows the item level second time below. Or for example, here it shows the stat ranges of the items. Here as well, you can see the, uh, that the magic fine rolls from 10 to 15. Right, then. That's one thing. Of course, you have also all the different load filter configuration here. Now, the other thing. Uh, you can still get the items with a shift click from the stash and back into the stash, but we're gonna do the fix uh, later to make sure that the entire stash is working. So if I put, for example, it here, I just consumed it here i press nothing happens because it's not yet optimized for the stash of the plugin uh, for the plugin size stash all right then uh, the other thing that is actually happening you see my cube here if i hold Control shift right click this is going to be now in the cube so this is also working and Control right click this is now on the ground and you can see again different uh, load filter configuration. That's the first thing that adds. So all those uh, nice quality of life features that are coming with it. Then we have here, uh, you can see that uh, settings. Uh, by the way, if you hold shift and left click, you can drag it anywhere you want. So let's put it back here. Uh, with control click, you can open it. And here you have a lot of different settings. So I personally prefer to have as much vanilla experience as possible. So usually I remove all the map hack options like quest drop warnings, all the puff drawing. Uh, then I don't need any of this um, game creation out of feel because, well, generally uh, I don't play online on this. It's only for Plaggy. Um, then for the items, I normally disable item level because it's already supported by Plagi and I just like it to have it on top to see it easier. Then uh, all the other things, basically yeah, uh, about the notifications, advanced item display, which you need to have enabled in order to uh, load filter. And one more thing that is really something new in version 1.9.9, which is the filter levels. Here you can see uh, four different filter levels from uh, non to aggressive and also ping level. 
from 0 to 6. Basically what it does is actually um, enables you to filter out more things the more you progress through the game. So the loot filter will actually remove most of the items that you don't need in the end game if you select the aggressive one. Same with the pink tier, uh, it changes what will be shown here on the left side. The higher you have, I think, uh, that's basically uh, the, the lower notification is. Then let's look into the interaction. So here again, uh, here are some things that normally I do disable because I don't like them, but uh, they are also working, I think, here. So I would disable all of these, but for example, you can use Quick Town Portal with just one button and using the healing potion or mana potion from anywhere. Also here additional commands uh, that you've probably seen from uh, Project Diablo 2. Shift left click to ID items. Um, move between stash and cube. So all this we already see. The map hack tab. So here I usually disable everything. Uh, no enchantments, no monsters, no resistances, no chests, um, no light radius. You can actually see changes. I keep weather, I remove infravision, but I also remove shake because personally I just don't like it. Uh, it just makes me, especially when you run those uh, Andarial or Cow Sanctuary, it's just annoying to me. Then here, uh, the other two things which I found really amazing. So CPU patch. As soon as I unclick this, my CPU usage will grow to like 25%. With this, it only uses like 3% of CPU power, which is really amazing. And the FPS patch for single player, this is something that uh, you probably seen the difference between playing online and uh, offline. So let me show it to you. So look at how my mouse is moving. Very smooth, very nice, 60 FPS. And I undo it. And now it's jittery. It's kind of staggering. So this is something that... Um, Sometimes was fixed by Glide, but sometimes not. So, but really, it also does make a difference. So, really amazing. And the last tab is about stash export. So, but uh, yeah, I guess you don't need it at this moment. These are the main settings uh, that you have here. And again, um, I don't have any. Maybe I have one example. Yeah, I will take this one. So, I'll show you that, yeah, the shift clicking also works here. For example, this one braces. As soon as I have the Tome of Identity, it all works. So this is actually really amazing. All right, now uh, let's close it and move on with a couple of other things um, that I wanted to show you. Uh, one thing to be aware of, there will be all this, this error message when you close it. I think it's related something to Glide as it states, but actually doesn't do anything. So don't really worry, and the second one will come now in a second. Yep. Don't worry about it, doesn't do anything, so... The guys from Slash Diablo already know about it, and uh, as they said, it's gonna be fixed soon. So, yeah, let's see. So what I wanted to look at is quickly to show you the uh, BH settings file. So... Here, uh, there are a few things that you can disable if you want like super vanilla uh, experience, you can disable from uh, in-game, but also a few things that I didn't find a way how to do it. So I actually really have to look into the file. I'm talking about um, these two parameters, low TP warning and LK chest lines. So basically LK chest lines always draws you uh, a line on a map to the chest area and TP warning basically, yeah. Uh, pops up when it happens. So normally I put here a zero and here I didn't find any better way but just to make it uh, one. Um, then also I usually disable all the um, all the skill warnings so just by adding this uh, double slash it will get rid of it from the um, config. Right. And also, lastly, I disable this uh, ping on the auto map info, I think, because uh, playing offline, you just don't need it and you don't want to, to see it.
everything else you can look and uh, read uh, things through and see what do they do but i think they are quite often pretty explanatory okay let's now save it and uh, go on on to the uh, next thing so i actually uh, wanted to show you also the fix from oscars for using the um, the stash size of the plugin so here again uh, of course all the links will be there shout out to the guy amazing dog with amazing head so basically you go here into slash diablo map pack plugin then into the release and here is the uh, replaced bhdll uh, file that actually allows you to do shift right click uh, for the stash size of the plugin so again uh, just click on it download you can go into the downloads for example go back to the downloads get the file you can just cut it directly go back so here is the uh, diablo 2 folder and we have original one here i'll just paste it replace all right so now uh, let's check if it actually works so let's go launch the plugin open any character okay so now let's try okay this works but essentially the area was i think like uh, something like this yep also from here so you see amazing it works now everywhere this is something i was almost crying when it happened actually so give really big love to oscars for making this work that's really amazing okay so next thing that i wanted to do is actually uh, show you how to also add uh, glide to all of it um, it's actually also very simple so if you don't mind i will actually get all my already here um, files that i used before so i'll just copy because they all have settings here you can see that I downloaded the Glide init, uh, these three files. So I will also, of course, link uh, this in the description where you can find them. I'll get, I'll put everything here to replace. Yep, replace everything. It is important that you use the Glide3x.dll uh, from, um, from Sven, basically, from his site instead of the one that comes in the archive. Let's now launch it. Here, the latest version. Um, in the settings, you see um, using window mode, captured mouse, uh, VSync, no FPS limit, no static size, remembering position. This is just to make uh, my Diablo 2 always open uh, on top of the screen. Uh, in the render, I added the 96 megabyte texture memory, uh, the highest buffer texture size and enabled all the bilinear filtering super sampling and so on and i think in the extensions yeah i just selected all of those that's basically it. Um, now one important thing that we need to do in order to make it work so under plugin folder for the shortcut we need to actually add um, three gfx parameter let's call let's say apply okay and launch it again yes now you see we even have the um, starting logos coming and it remembers my previous position so I go to single player you can already notice that things are a little bit brighter have better color so if I open this right so now everything looks a little bit with better contrast and one additional thing that uh, is added that now you can actually do the uh, brighter or darker with the gamma control and also contrast to make it more pale or saturated and difference between light and dark. That's it guys, in general it's quite simple process, just need to carefully follow steps and execute things in the right order. Let me know if you encounter any issues with the install and I hope you will find the right balance of features that suits your liking for vanilla LOD version of Diablo 2. Thanks for watching and see you next time.